Hello and welcome to the Starving Electrician Channel. I know you don't look starving. I heard the joke already. Yeah, funny stuff. Anyways, today we're going to talk about um, common mistakes DIYers do or just you know, hack electricians. Sorry, I've seen it. But uh, different things with different circuits, different connectors, stuff like that that we use that's proper. So you're not going to be seeing this pretty face man candy very much. So this is going to be all about this box. So hang in there, stay to the end. You're getting free information here, so why don't you stay to the end, okay? No, I'm not getting paid to do this. Here we go. All right, so looking at this box, you know, what's the first problem that we see? Well, we have a Romex going in, and, um, well, a lot of people put the Romex around this screw here and put the metal cover on and figure that that's, you know, that's good enough. In essence, it's, you know, if the box is grounded or what have you, great, but that's not the legal way. There's always this little bump out here that you use and you have to always have a green ground screw. If you had a regular screw, if you had a green marker, that'd be good enough, but you have to have the identification purposes for that grounding. So that's the first mistake. Now let's look at, you know, maybe another potential mistake. Well, we have a, this yellow is always identified as number 12, a 20 amp circuit. Well, and what is it tied into? If we follow it around, oh, it's tied into this Romex, 14.2. A lot of people, what they do is uh, they'll jump off of a 20 amp circuit with 15 amp wire. In essence, the wire should burn before the breaker trips. That's what it's supposed to do or what have you. That's why you don't put a smaller breaker, or I'm sorry, a larger breaker with smaller wire. You know, chances are it's not going to uh, trip, but you, if you have a 20 amp circuit, you keep it with 20 amp wire. Um, Cause you might have an appliance on that circuit or something or other, and that's what they talk about, it'll heat up or what have you. So that's our second mistake. Now well, the other is, well, looks like it's a three wire and uh, got, you know, this little wire nut here. Sorry about that. And uh, it's just wire nutted off. You never know when you're gonna need that wire again. Leave it a little bit longer. And, uh, you know, so that's just, just common little stuff that people do. Now, also, if you look at this connector, it's a great connector, but what it does is, when you try to put anything more than a 14.2 in it, it's got its flaws. You're, you're pushing up on it, and it just doesn't come through just the wires do, so it never really holds on, and it can pull back through. So that's the downfall of that type of connector. Now the other things are, all right, let's look what other people do. They might use a, it's called an MC. It's a double barrel, we call it. So you have two MCs in there, meant for MC connectors, or made for MC cable. That's MC cable, not Romex. Yes, these clamps may clamp down, but they don't clamp down all the way and they'll pull back out. They're not made for that. Other things people do are, no connector at all. So they just push it through and hey, it should be all right. This should be awesome. Okay, uh -huh. no, that's a no-go. Proper connector right here, this two screw clamp connector. Um, you can put one to two connectors in here. Um, a lot of people say, or I'm sorry, one to two wires in this connector. People may complain, oh, they're only made for one, but you would have a thousand of these in a, in a panel and uh, good luck finding all the knockouts for that if you just put one wire in each one. So you can put more than one in there. Okay, the other over here is a compression connector. You don't put Romex in that either. That is meant for EMT or conduit. This is a compression watertight uh, connector that clamps down uh, so no moisture or condensation gets inside the pipe. This here may look like a Romex connector, but it is an MC connector. And you can tell by the inside there, look at the, the big opening. That big opening means it's for MC cable and must have an MC bushing on it as well. Um, this other one here is a flex connector. I mean, you may think that a Romex just going through into a box, it's a sleeve, it's good. But you never know when something, somebody's gonna pull on the wire or you're, you're gonna run somewhere or something. And it pulls on the wire and it pulls out and it pulls it out of the box. Uh, not so that the hot wire that comes out of it will hit the box and then you have a short. And then you're looking all around for the short itself. So yeah, these are the basic connectors. 
And uh, these are some of the basic problems. Never tie in a 14 amp or 14 gauge wire with a 12 wire, uh, just because the only thing laying around. And so if you're gonna feed something properly, feed it with the right wire. Um, always have the proper connector for your Romex to hold it in there. Always use a ground screw. You wrap around the ground screw, and then you can take your grounds and you can just pigtail them, wire them all together, and do not have it, because I actually got shot down once in the trade long ago. Um, do not wrap it around here. Then you have a proper fitting blank cover over the top of this. So that's it in a nutshell, uh, quick and easy stuff like that. So just things to remember, different connectors to use. Okay, that's my babbling for the day. So I believe you got it with the connectors. There's a lot of different uh, connectors you can use. Um, atomic connectors, or squeeze type connector, three quarter, half inch, but you know what to do with a metal box, and which connectors that you use for it. So easy stuff. So thanks for watching, I appreciate you.